Hey everyone, this is Lisa with Crepe Myrtle Row. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, please excuse my look today. I am having a very bad hair day. I'm trying to grow out a pixie cut that I done this time last year. And although I liked it, it's just not as versatile as I would like it to be. So I'm trying to cut it out. I, I've, got, I've got a little bit of a ponytail going on, but this situation up here and the sides, because the sides were almost like like a man's haircut around here. They're taking forever to grow out and they look like Bozo the Clown right now. So hats it is. <laughs> so just excuse me and I am burning up in this room. But my ceiling fan for some reason is like extremely noisy today. It's just like rawr, rawr, rawr. so had to turn that off too. So let's just get started and ignore me. <laughs> so the first thing I got was one of these big thick bathrobes, like the big white ones. <laughs> These things are expensive, but, and then I think someone might have taken this from Windham Vacation Rentals, Wyndham, I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyhow, I like it because it's really good, thick, heavy, get that washed up and it's good as new. Okay, these next well, one of the items I got at the thrift store, the next item um, I bought off of eBay. But it's this vintage sifter. And I think, let's see, there we go. I think I paid like $12 before um, shipping on it. But what I love about it is, look, I use it as a candle holder. So inside here, I put some dried rice. So it would kind of level out because this one... Being as it's a handle like this, there is a little little button like that sticks up right in the middle. And this candle didn't have a big enough lip here to sit over that part. So I put the rice in there to, to give me a level spot. And then these are those Walmart candles. And they fit perfect and flush. And that looks so cute in my kitchen. And I know I say this all the time. But if you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do. If you don't, please go follow me there. You will see stuff like this on there. Like I, when I got this, I took pictures of it and showed it on there. And I got the idea from a lady on Instagram. And for the life of me, I can't remember who she was. And I kept going back trying to find the post. And I can't find it because I, I follow a lot of people on there. So, But that was one. And then this one is just a regular sifter. You couldn't put the candle in it like that. But I loved the graphics on it. Again, it came from eBay. And I'm sorry, the glare from my... Um, light ring here maybe there but I just I love these old sifters and I think I got this one for seven dollars and then of course I had to pay shipping and then this is like a vintage measuring cup I guess I guess because it, it has yeah it has the numbers and stuff but I love the graphics on it and I got this at an antique store for a dollar and let's see I'm trying to figure out what's the best order to go in okay this next thing um, is a teapot it's missing its lid and I paid a dollar fifty for it and the reason I wanted this is I have the set of dishes that go with this in my if you've watched my fall tour um, of my dining room I have the brown set of transferware of this it's um Alfred Meekin is the the maker and it's called Fair Winds is the the pattern and I have it in both blue and the brown transfer wear but I just love because it has the ships and then you can see it has the American flag on it and ships on that side so this is really neat to use the blue one you know during the fourth of July season so got that and other blue and white things and y'all, I'm going to have to be bending out of sight because this stuff is piled up all around me. Um, the next things, I got these for $0.50 cent a piece, and they are Blue Willow salt and pepper shakers. Get the glare off there. But I love the blue and white. I didn't do it so much this year, but normally in July, I put out, or actually I start in June. And normally I would go decorate my house with a lot of a coastal beachy theme. And I put out all my blue and white dishes in my hutch and then I get all of my milk glass collection out and display it 
in there and other places in my house. But I don't know, you know, this year's just a weird year with the COVID and everything. I just was in a funk all year and just didn't want to do it. Hence why I haven't put out more videos. So I apologize to y'all. I'm hoping I can get back into the groove of things and get back into doing these regularly. And then here's a piece of milk glass. Let's see if we can get... I'm sorry, I can't get it with that. Well, it looks like a quilted pattern with little crosses in, in each little indentation. And then it's got the little wavy edge there. Did I tell you? $2.99 for that piece. And I've got to where I don't buy as much milk glass. When I first started collecting this, like everything I collect, I just buy everything I see in it. And then I realize what I really like in it. So now I'm realizing in the milk glass, I want the more ornate pieces and more decorative pieces. And I've got a lot of just plain stuff that I'm probably going to be getting rid of. But because I just, there's not enough space in my house to put all this stuff. I'm sure y'all can relate. So the next thing are these um, little tart pans or something. I don't know what you call them. But they were only a dollar for this whole stack. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. But I thought these would be cute to use on a Christmas tree or around in my dough bowl at Christmas. I already have some similar to this that were my grandmother's. And and I do use them, but I'm, I was thinking as thin as this is, I could actually punch a hole or just hot glue some ribbon so I wouldn't actually ruin the thing. And those would be cute hanging on a tree. Could even paint them. I mean, I paid a dollar for them. Put these there. Okay, what do we want to show? The next item is, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but I have this thing for vintage linens, especially vintage tea towels or the flower sack towels. And these calendar towels. <laughs> I love using these. These, I mean, they work so good in the kitchen. And when I find them, I buy them. So this is 1987. That is the year I got married. So I wanted that one. This one, it looks old, but it's it's not too old. I mean, it's 20 years old, so that's not too old. But it was one with apples on it. And I've got to wash these up because these are still kind of stiff. Probably somebody just had them for display because that's what they used to do. A lot of them just hung them on the wall for artwork, but I like to use them. This one's not a calendar towel, but it is a vintage looking Santa Claus. And I love these. And again, like I said, this is like the flower sack um, material. And this one is 1971. And I got, see, the only ones... That one, it said 2000 and the 1987, I've, I had to pay $4 a piece for those at an antique store. But the rest of these, I paid a dollar for at the Salvation Army, or a dollar each piece. This one's 1976, and you can tell where this one's been kind of starts to use, not as an actual towel, but I'm going to do it that, and a 1974. And then I have a 1968 that I already have in my kitchen I'm using now, and that's the year I was born. So telling you how old I am. I don't mind. I don't know why. I don't understand why people are like want to lie about their age. You know, I'm glad every every year the Lord gives me to live. <laughs> so I don't care what how old I am. So the next thing, y'all know I love strawberries, and if you if you're new to my channel. I collect a lot of things. I like a lot of things. So you will find that out <laughs> that I, I just like a lot of stuff. So strawberries being one of them. <laughs> but I thought this, and it's like a little jewelry box. I don't know if the, yeah, still works. But I also thought it would be cute as a recipe box. So that is cute. And I love, of course, you know, I love vintage things, but I love old cookbooks, any books 
I, I look for the graphics in books. And I saw this cookbook and I just fell in love with it. Because y'all back in the 80s, my mom used to teach painting classes where she painted these. I don't know if any of you did, are old enough to remember this. That um, like the wooden pieces, everybody was painting them, you know, the little wooden cutouts, the little shelf sitters, everything. Well, this little grandma here was like one of the most popular pieces that she painted. And there were people at our house all the time, her teaching these painting classes. But what makes this one so unique is all the little information. Like half this book is information, like household hints and tips and all that before you can get to recipes. But like it tells you all the, the herbs and what to use those with. Um, if you're, what meat you're having for dinner, what you should serve with it. And I mean, it was just ridiculous that, you know, temperatures of stuff, how to can stuff, how to freeze stuff. And then this one, the quantities of how to serve a hundred or more people, how much of stuff you would need. And then I love this. It was like sandwiches. If you're fixing sandwiches for 26 new fillings for six servings or up to 24 servings and how much you would need of each ingredient to get that. And then of course, it's just your regular church style cookbook after that, but love that book. And then this next one, it is a Better Homes and Garden. That one, this one was from like 82, 1982. This one is from 1959. And what grabbed my attention to start with is that graphic right there. I love that 1960s look. I don't know if any of you watch Netflix, um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, I think is her name on there. Love that show. Mainly for the costumes and, and the, the clothing and, and the, just the era because it was in the from the 50s and it gets into the 60s. Love it. So if you like that kind of fashion, you, you need to watch that show. And then the other one is, um, oh gosh, what is her name? Nurse Ratchet. That's what it is. Nurse Ratchet. Again, kind of a weird show, but I love it because the, the outfits that they wear in that movie. And then this one, the dishes. Let me see if I can find a page. My mom loved this. Like, showing you what to serve in it. Those, I think, are called Atlas. And I'm not sure. Ribbon pattern or something? I don't know. Some of you may can tell me. And I know I've seen them in this and pink. So they're milk glass and then they have that I would love to have those. And then there was just other dishes, you know, that people used to actually make a big deal out of serving their food. And, and like those little things there. I have some similar to this. They're not that pattern. And when I have taco night or taco salad night, I use it each little section to put all the ingredients because everybody likes those different. So I try to use it some, but you know, I'm not as fancy as that. <laughs> And then this one is not an old one, but the graphics in it are just adorable because every recipe has a graphic to go with it. Like roast beef sandwiches has a cow on it. And one of the recipes I have made out of here and actually is very good is this chocolate pound cake. And I love the graphic on it also. Very good. So this one would be one of those that's really pretty to just... Like here is Parmesan chicken with lemon butter pasta and you got lemons there and then you got white chili with the chicken on it. But this is one of those cookbooks that's really pretty just to display opened up on your counter. So now I need to find me one of those holders. And then this next book, I bought it. It's just the American Country Hymn Book. I bought it because it's sheet music and I have another one somewhere in my house. I had put it up probably in my little so-called library I have. But I bought it because I want to take the sheets out of here. And have you seen those wreaths where they take um, sheet music and they roll it into a cone and then they just like staple it around or reform or whatever in a circle? I wanted to, to do that for Christmas time. So hopefully I can get that done. Okay, let's see. Where do we go? This... Here is, and I paid, and those books, I think average of a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Sorry, there's a loud car going down the street, but 
those come from like Goodwill and places. So it was like at the most $2 a piece for them. And then this, I love this. This is Fiesta Wear and it was $3.99 sugar and creamer. And then it has one of the salt and pepper shakers in there, not, not both of them. But I love the pink color and I do decorate my hutch for Valentine's Day. So this will be pretty in there. And I know Fiesta Wear is normally a very expensive piece so I didn't think that was bad for it I love tarnished silver so when I found this like candle holder it looks like the the book in the what is it the it was the night before Christmas like the old man with his hat running down and his gown <laughs> and that's what it makes me think of but put a little candle holder in that I love it it's real heavy and I paid $2.99 for it but like that and then this, I'm sure someone made this. It's little plates. And I've got three of these. I just brought one in here. And I paid 99 cents a piece for them. And of course, you know, when I got it, it's strawberry. And it says Debbie. And every one of them signed, but in like a different spot. But it, they're all signed Debbie. So I'm assuming this was just someone's personal art piece of whatever that they made in ceramics. But love that. Don't know where in that kitchen I'm going to put that, but I will find a place. I always find a place. And then this piece, it looks like sort of like a glass compote bowl or whatever, but it's plastic and it was $1.99. But Christmas time, Valentine's Day, all of that, this will be really pretty. Even if I just use it to set something in and, you know, fill it with a little decorative piece or whatever. Okay, let's, okay. This little fella, he had his leg until I got home and tried to take him out of the bag and it got twisted into the plastic bag. And when I'm trying to jerk it out, I broke his leg off. But it will go back on if I can find my glue. So, <laughs> like a, what do you call it, pet, a pheasant, a quail, I don't know, a big bird with a long tail and a bronze color that will look good with my fall stuff. And I paid $2.99. He will look good if I'll ever fix his leg. Find the glue. That's that's the kicker there. And then I have I love candlesticks. So I found this one for $1.99. And I just, gosh, this light draws me crazy with the glare. But so I wonder if I get past a certain point. There we go. It gives you detail of it. But I use candles all over my house. Not the real ones. I mean, the only real ones I burn are, are the ones in glass containers. Everything else is a battery-operated candle. And then these. Little vintage salt and pepper shakers. And I don't have my reader glasses on, so I can't see what it says. <laughs> but I know I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Let me get it past that. See, it's like a little little girl and her basket on it. And both of them have the same picture on it. So I thought those were really cute. This little picture here, it's it's plastic. It's not not glass. And it was two dollars at an antique store, but I love the color. Again, during Christmas and Valentine's Day, anything red, because I decorate my three-tier tray and stuff like that. So I'm always looking for little things to put in there, like this little pepper shaker. I have a vintage sifter, flower sifter, like similar to the ones I showed you that was my grandmother's, and that's the pattern on it. It has the little apples. And then I think I got one with cherries. No, I have the strawberries on them. And I think I paid $3 for that one little piece. There were two of them there, but they both said pepper, so I only wanted the one that said pepper. Not, not both of them to say pepper. So now I'm on a hunt for one that says salt. And that came from an antique store. And then so did these. I love vintage doilies. And again, anything with red and white has dual purpose for me. And there were four of these and it was $4 for all of them hooked together. And there are a couple of them a different size, one big, and then this small, and then the two mediums. 
and then this basket at the antique store it was five dollars for the whole basket and a couple of the, they're all avon bottles i was drawn to like that one and then like that one there's the little pink one there this one is one of my favorites and just all kinds of little avon jars that will look so cute in my vintage room like on a little mirror or something and there are some of these already gone there was some that were the amber colored glass one was shaped like a a keg and it had like you know it was the brown glass and my son liked it and then one was shaped like a horseshoe with a horse face on it and it was brown glass so he took those already but the whole thing for five dollars I, I didn't think was too bad because avon bottles are not cheap i paid i think 50 cents for this it's just a they're not the old clothes pins but i'm sure they'll come in handy with some kind of craft that I'll find to do. And then I got some of these in my last haul, I believe I showed y'all, and they were a um, dollar a piece, these vintage spindles um, bobbins. I think that's what they're called, wooden bobbins. And they look really good just stacked into a basket of some sort. So, and I got six of them this time. And I mean, there's tons of them left, but I already had a bunch. So just wanted some of the long ones. My other ones aren't about that long. Got these. These are Pyrex coffee mugs, and they were 99 cents a piece. Love the fall colors of them. And then um, I got eight of those. And then this mug, it was 99 cents. And I don't even have to explain why I got this one, y'all know. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, by the way. But I use them to drink water, to take medicine, or just need a sip, whatever juice maybe but I don't drink coffee and then this Pyrex dish was $2.99 and I like that perfect size for meatloaf or something like that or bake a piece of bread never baked my own bread don't know that I could do it I'm not much of a, a baker I would like to do more but at the moment I'm not that great at it <laughs> and then I found this, this is 250. It's a paint by number. And I just thought that would look really good during the July 4th season, you know, America the Beautiful, anything like that. And I found another one in my fall living room tour. There's one on the wall there that was a real pretty fall colored paint by number. And found those two within a day of each other, which is shocking because I normally never see paint by numbers out. And then these next items, this is $2. And I just liked, it's not old or anything, but I like the chunky frame. Don't like the picture in it. Probably will take that out and just hang the frame itself on the wall with nothing in it. I've, I've done that in one spot in my living room and I like the way it looks. Just old wooden frames hanging on the wall. Same thing with this one. It was $2.99. And I just like liked it for the frame. Now, there is one that was set that way. So, y'all, I'll, I'll tell you another little tip about me. <laughs> and if you've paid attention with my home videos, you'll see this. I don't like pictures of people hanging in my house. I don't, I don't have any. I think, well, maybe in the my craft room, I have a few of my kids when they were little. I mean, they're adults now, but. And when the, even when they were younger, I maybe had one or two pictures hanging on the wall. I'm just, I don't know why. I've never been one to want pictures of people hanging on my walls. But I go to other people's house and it looks great, but just never wanted it for myself. And then this I paid $3 for. This is wooden planner. And I'm planning on repainting it and doing some distressing on that. And then I paid $3.99 for this lantern. Always love these lanterns. Put some of my candles in and some greenery. They always look good. I'm trying to get through this fast because I know it's going to be a long video. <laughs> and then this was $2.99 for, you know, the whole jewelry necklaces or bracelets and stuff. So that will come in handy. 
Then I got this jug. I paid $3.50 for it. Just this old, I don't know if it really is old. Made in the USA is all it says on the bottom there. But I just like the looks of it. So got that. This other thing, you're going to think I'm very weird, but I like it. This eagle looking thing. And it's supposed to be a clock. And I may buy the piece to make it back a clock. But I actually thought about um, looking online to see if I could find the, the rounded out mirror to go in. I already have one almost just like this out on my back porch because it is decorated in a nautical theme but I just I love that one so you know I may do it and to use in here when I do my nautical theme in my house so I don't know haven't decided is it going to stay with a clock or are you going to become a mirror don't know and I'll probably distress it and maybe do a little bit different looks again if you follow me on Instagram you've seen a picture of this and I paid $5.99 for it. It's just one of these trays. And what I use it for is it's the perfect size. And I've already stored my books away for my books to sit in like this. So I sit it on my um, hutch and then my cookbooks stack up through here like that. And I got that idea off of Pinterest or somewhere. And I really liked it. I thought it was cool. This other item is huge. And I paid $8.99 for it. But it's this huge silver tray with the feet and all on it. And I don't know if you can see like the grape pattern. A few weeks before I found this tray, I found two large candlesticks. And I showed them in my last haul. Or showed one of them. But they were like that big and it was the grape pattern. And it looks like the exact same pattern this. So and they came from the same thrift store. So they probably came together and they just didn't put them out together. So luckily I found them like that. And you know, I love my vintage purses. So this was a little brown, <clears throat> excuse me. I guess it's it's either the snake skin or eel skin or whatever, but I love, I love these little snap tops like that on the inside. And, and I know I tell y'all this every time, but on Sundays for church, I usually like to try to change out my purse and just take a different one with each outfit or whatever when I go instead of my everyday purse. Because I usually, you know, I'm not needing a whole bunch there. Some tissues and a mint or whatever. So that's why I like to take those. And then I found this one and it's real leather too. And it's red and that embossed look makes you think of the, the newer style of Brahmin. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that brand. Brahmin bags have this kind of embossed pattern on them. This is not a Brahmin. This is a, a more vintage than, than that. Because <laughs> I have a green one that's just like it. I mean, the same shape and everything, but it's like a dark Christmas green. So, love that. And I think I paid $3 for this one. And I believe I paid $5.99 for that one. And I believe we are done. Except I can't show you on here. I have to, I'm taking my camera into my spare room, I guess, bedroom. And I'm going to show you two things that I got in there that are too big for me to hold. And then, then we'll be okay, done. This, this item I'm going to show you is it already out in my guest room. But it's this antique sewing machine. And you guys, I got this for $29. I could not believe it when I saw that price on there. I was like, oh my goodness. At first I thought, surely they mean $290 because that's usually the price of these things is way up there. But nope, it was $29 at Salvation Army. And I'm using it as a nightstand beside my guest bed here and the one other thing i want to show you that's thrifted is this dress form just the wicker part and it's a full length all the way to the floor and by the way guys that is my wedding dress from 33 years ago on this thing now i've got to raise it up to where it's not puddled up on the floor quite as much and find out my pearl necklace that i can put around it and there's my hat and i had gloves 
I was channeling my inner Scarlett O'Hara during that time. But I gave um, $30 for that dress form. So, love that. Okay, guys. I know this is a very long video, and I apologize for that. But I've, I've waited way too long. I should have done a haul way before now. And, and believe it or not, there's a lot more stuff that I haven't shown y'all. But it's already sitting around in my decor. And I just don't want to go pulling it out or anything. But I will try my best to get better at this. So that the hauls aren't so long. And, and we get, you know, little things shown to you quicker and all. And I am about to go on a trip with my son to visit my daughter and her husband and my little grand puppy um, out in Kansas. And so I'm looking forward to doing some thrifting on the way there. So there was very good thrift stores out there. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. If you don't already subscribe to me, I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. And once again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please come over there and um, say hi to me. Let me know you come over there from here. And I will see y'all hopefully soon <laughs> with another haul as soon as I get back from my trip. Bye.